Hi, this is Lawson with AM Electronics, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to load the Drag Race template in AM Data Analysis software. First thing you're going to need to do is make sure you have AM Data Analysis. Go to amelectronics.com, and if you hover over the Support tab, you click on the Software Downloads link. It's going to take you to our Software Downloads page. From here, we've got a link that will take you right down to AM Data Logging and Analysis software. From here, you'll click on this download link and it'll download the software. I've already saved the software. We'll click on the executable file and we'll click run. There's a setup wizard for the software. It makes it really easy to download. If you've ever downloaded software before, you'll know this drill. I've already got AEM data on my computer, so we're gonna skip ahead. Once you've successfully downloaded AEM data software, you're going to end up with an icon like this, a shortcut icon on your on your desktop. I've just pulled this one down to my docking station. You're going to click on that. It's going to load AEM data analysis. For now, we're going to ignore this quick start menu. Come over to File, Load Template, and it's going to open a templates folder with the Drag Race template already inside of it. If you ever build a custom template in the future, you can save it to this folder for easy access later. We're going to click on Drag Race Template and click Open. And there you go. We've got our Drag Race template set up. Within the template, we've got five tabs. A Basics tab, a Slip tab, Air Fuel Ratio tab, Temperatures tab, and Reports tab. Looks a little better with data, so let's put a little demo log file in it, and you can see how it looks. This was a car idling, so it's not super sexy, but it gets the point across. Up here we've got engine RPM, drive shaft speed, and air fuel ratio on the driver's side. You can scroll through this data. You can also zoom in and scroll in certain sections, zoom out. And you can add channels as you like. So for instance, if you want to see both banks of air fuel ratio, you can grab your air fuel ratio passenger channel and just pull it straight into the document. Likewise, in the second lane, we've got oil pressure here. But let's say you want to see water temp as well. You can drag it into that lane as well, and you can add your water temp channel. We've got a gauge for engine RPM. Again, it looks a little skewed because this car just idled, but gauges, like everything else in here, are completely custom configurable. You can configure it for whatever channel you want, as well as the colors and the thresholds, the appearance, everything. But we'll get into that in another video. Finally, we've got an accelerometer down here so you can see G loads. On the second tab, we've got slip. So this has engine RPM and drive shaft as well as slip by gear. And you can see as you toggle through it on the graph here, you can check slip by gear ratio utilizing a pre-configured math channel. On this tab, your third tab, you have air fuel ratio on driver and passenger side. In your second lane, you have engine RPM. On the fourth tab, you have air inlet temp, water temperatures. In the second lane, you have engine RPM as well as battery voltage. And this final tab is your channels report tab. So it's got all your channels here as well as your minimum and maximum values, your average values, and start and end times. Hope that gives you an idea of how easy it is to use AM data analysis, particularly with the drag race setup. There's so much more you can do in here. You can set high and low parameters. You can set alarm conditions. Um, it's really endless, but this gets you up and running super fast and allows you to start utilizing your data in a meaningful way that's going to help you get down the track faster. Appreciate you taking the time to watch. Have a good day.